The Niagara Railway Museum is going full steam ahead as they gear up for their upcoming opening weekend. The source is here to find out what you can expect. The museum was founded in uh, 1997, so for us this is our 20th anniversary. We've uh, really come a long way in 20 years and really definitely want to make 2017 our biggest year yet. And what do you have that's new? Well, this year we have a CNR rail car. Uh, it was a snow flanger. It was used for clearing snow between the rails of the track, and that was donated last year by Gen Air in St. Catharines. It was spent uh, quite a few years at the Niagara District Airport, and we moved that in on December 9th, and we're currently uh, working on moving the last gondola uh, rail car from the Toronto, Hamilton, and Buffalo Railway, which was donated last year as well. Now, the weekend is coming up in May. What's going to be happening on the opening house weekend? Uh, opening weekend is May 13th and 14th, which is the Mother's Day weekend. And uh, we have some new displays coming this year, some new uh, model railway items, as well as uh, access to the uh, previously mentioned rail car, the snow flanger, which looks like a caboose, but it's not a caboose. We have uh, about a quarter of our collection on display in two box cars and our upper display area, which used to be the offices when the shop was in business, in service back in the uh, 50s to the 80s. So we do have some new items coming in this year. We're uh, expanding the Great Gorge Route display, which was one of the very much lost attractions of Niagara that ended in 1932 and 35, respectively. So we definitely want to expand that. A few other things that we're, we're working on throughout the year, not just for opening weekend, but for uh, our other displays and uh, special weekends as well. It's not just for adults, is it? Oh no, you, it's from everybody. We have families come out here with, with newborns right up to the grandparents and everybody in between. It's not just the model railways, it's trains in general. People just like to see trains. We think we bring a pretty good value for what we have to offer in, in the facility. We'd, we'd like to see the families come out, especially the kids get a big kick out of uh, being able to get up in the equipment, sit in the engineer's seat, look out the windows and, and see what the train crews see. Now, I know a club like this requires membership and volunteers. What would you like to say to people out there about getting involved? Well, the Niagara Railway Museum is a uh, not-for-profit charitable organization. We're regist registered with Canada Revenue Agency, able to issue tax receipts for donations. We're, we rely strictly on donations. We don't have any paid staff. We're all volunteer staff. Uh, membership is $30 per year for an individual and $45 for a family of four. And, you know, we welcome younger people to get involved. After opening weekend, uh, we, we are open from uh, July to the beginning of October, every Saturday from 10 to 2. Uh, rain or shine, we're out here. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're still working, so why not pay us a visit? Um, we're also taking part in the uh, Canada 150 festivities in Ridgeway. So we'll have uh, a table there, and probably one of our motor cars will be on display as well. We've been asked to come out there, so that's, that's Canada Day. And we'll also be here at the shop on uh, Canada Day, July 1st. We're also having our second open house uh, of, of the year, July 8th and 9th. And that'll be, again, rain or shine, 10 to 4 both days. And there'll be probably some new displays at that one as well. If you like trains or are just interested in Niagara's railway history, visit the museum on May 13th or 14th between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m., rain or shine. For more information, visit nfrm.ca. In Fort Erie, for The Source, I'm Brenda Schultz.